If you've ever been a fan of comic books or the book series or movie franchise or TV show, you know that you move from being a casual fan to a hardcore fan to being a part of the fandom. As you move down the list, you become much more passionate about caring about that TV show or book series. Casual fans are exactly what they sound like. Casual fans may just mention in passing that they're a fan of this said series. They're not too dedicated and they're not too deeply invested into it. The best example I can use is somebody watching reruns of The Office on Peachtree TV. They haven't watched every episode of the show and they don't hate it, but they don't go out of their way to watch it every week. Hardcore fans go out and watch every episode or read every book or watch every movie. They go out of their way to buy merchandise of the said show and they also would probably buy physical copies of the book or buy DVDs or Blu-rays of the movies. One such example would be somebody going out of their way to buy a Power Rangers hoodie. That is what you call being a hardcore fan and I'm glad I bought this because as it turns out the person who is making these hoodies is getting sued by the makers of the Power Rangers because they don't like that he's making these things. It's a sad turn of events but you know I'm glad I bought this when I did. Hardcore fans will also recommend the series to you and want you to invest your time into it because they feel deeply passionate about it. They enjoy it to the point where they're not a annoying about it and won't go out of their way to annoy people who don't enjoy the show. And now this leads us into our discussion about fandoms. Now don't get me wrong, this is not how every person in a fandom acts. It's just, you know, the majority of them. What I've been noticing is that most people who are part of a fandom go out of their way to deeply annoy you about whatever their said fandom is about. And this is also at the point where you start writing fan fictions about them and start thinking about them as real people. That's not bad, mind you, but this is at the point where you start turning people off from wanting to actually get invested in this series. Everyone else gets so annoyed with how these people act in their fandom, they don't even want to get involved with the series. And like I said, it's not everybody who does this, but there are the majority of people who are part of fandoms that do this, and it's just driving people insane. Please, if you're part of a fandom, don't ruin the experience for everyone else. Yes, there are gonna be some people who do not like the series that you are invested in. Get over it. Don't go out of your way to ridicule them for it, and don't go out of your way to try and force them to get involved with it. They're going to get involved with it on their own time, and if you keep pushing them, you're just gonna push them away from everyone and you get involved with it. I don't think anybody who's involved with a fandom realizes how annoying they can be. They're trying to push the series down our throats, and it's not gonna make us want to get involved with it any quicker. And like I just said, if anything, it's gonna push people away from wanting to get involved with it. They see how you're acting and they don't want to become a part of that. I'm not trying to say that being a part of a fandom is a bad thing. All I'm trying to say is just calm down a little bit with regards to being all of obsessive over it. You can be obsessed over it, just don't push that onto anyone else. And don't be rude to anyone who says they don't like whatever you're invested in. It's inevitable that some people are just not gonna like the series that you love. You can't help it and you're not gonna be able to fix it. And it's not gonna fix it by being rude to them and shunning them and making them feel like crap because they don't like it. And just by some of the actions of some of the fandoms out there, it just gives the series a bad name in general and it turns people away from it. Also, stop acting like your series is the best series out there, because it's probably not. There are also a lot of other things out there that are probably a lot better than it. You're just boxing yourself in and you're not gonna be able to enjoy anything else because of it. All I'm trying to get across is that it's a whole lot easier to get people to enjoy a series if you don't try and shove it down their throats or be mean to them because they haven't invested themselves into that series yet. That's all I have to say about fandoms and fans in general. Just don't be off-putting, let it happen naturally. Everything else that I do on the internet will be linked down below and I'm gonna go pretend as if this had some effect on people. Hello, camera. Well...